Hello, this is Cedar Reiner. I'm a professor in the Department of Psychology and Neuroscience here at Randolph-Macon College. And um, I know you've been hearing a lot about masks, but as a cognitive psychologist, I thought it might be interesting to discuss five ways of thinking about a mask that maybe, um, maybe help you reframe how you think about masks and mask wearing. Uh, something about um, this activity we're all expected to engage in and um, that uh, we might, it might be helpful to think about it in a different way or a few different ways, five ways. The first way I like to think about wearing a mask is like keeping your dog on a leash. Uh, these are three, looks like well-behaved little doggos and they couldn't possibly be a danger to people. Um, why would we put these dogs on a leash when they should be able to roam free? Well, uh, I think one reason is that we keep a dog on a leash to show other people that uh, they should not be afraid of our dogs, no matter what they look like, even if they look unthreatening. And in fact, even small dogs um, might be threatening to some people. Uh, and some people might um, be particularly sensitive uh, to dogs. So we keep our dog on a leash, um, not just whether or not the dog is dangerous, but understanding that there's a wide variety of people for whom dogs might be scary and they're going to be less scary and more in control on a leash. It's a way we show people that we care about not just their safety, but how they, um, how they feel. Another way to think about, second way of thinking about a mask is like a baby in a pool. Um, when we take our baby to the swimming pool, we put a swimming diaper on them so that the baby's pee doesn't get all over the pool. Um, I think mm -hmm. it's kind of interesting to think about masks and the air we breathe more like a swimming pool and less like air. Uh, we're really not used to thinking about um, air as being possibly contaminated, um, but I think everyone's familiar with a contaminated, what it might be like to be in a contaminated swimming pool. And so when uh, your baby's wearing a diaper, a swimming diaper in the pool, it's to prevent uh, the pool from getting contaminated. It's the same reason to wear a mask, uh, to show that you care about the contamination of the swimming pool and to prevent um, your breath from contaminating the air around uh, around you and the air that we all share. Third way of thinking about a mask, uh, practice makes perfect. So uh, you probably noticed as I have that wearing a mask is a hassle. It's uncomfortable. Um, it's, if you're not used to it, it's especially um, a hassle, uncomfortable, it covers your face. Uh, it's uncomfortable around the ears maybe. Um, and it's just weird to talk. It's weird to breathe with a mask on. And um, I think about this in terms of, as someone who teaches sensation and perception, uh, one of the things we talk about, especially when we talk about our sense of touch and our sense of smell, uh, but it's true for all our senses, that we get used to stuff. Uh, you can get used to um, the, the pressure of the glasses on the bridge of your nose. Uh, you get used to the pressure of a hat around your forehead. Um, we get used to the pressure of earrings or necklaces. Um, yeah, football players get used to the discomfort of wearing pads um, because they protect uh, football players' bodies as well as the bodies of the other football players. Um, so I think of uh, wearing a mask as something you can practice. Uh, this is why sometimes when I wear a mask, as I walk to work, I, I might not see another person. I might not come within even 20 feet of another person, but it's a way I can get a little practice in and just spending more of my day wearing a mask and becoming more comfortable with it. Uh, we're going to have to do that a lot this semester, and I would guess over the next um, few years it might be useful to be able to get used to wearing a mask much in the way these people are getting used to things uh, pictured here. Doctors get used to wearing masks a lot. They have before the pandemic, even more so now. Football players get used to pads and helmets. Um, and kids get used to riding a bike. You, get, uh, you can train at this and get better at it. You can get better at wearing a mask, just like anything else. 
we can wear a mask to show our style. Uh, I love to see the new ways that people uh, take opportunities to customize their environments, customize themselves. We have stickers on laptops. Um, people customize their own bodies with tattoos. Uh, people customize their bodies with haircuts. Uh, some haircuts might look quite uncomfortable. Some uh, ways that people customize their living spaces might seem odd, but personalizing and customizing um, yourself and your living space and your clothes is, uh, is something that's really um, a wonderful part of human nature. And I think uh, if we can make meaning out of wearing a mask as another way we can show our style uh, as these uh, two high school students are uh, from Texas, uh, as the tattoo artist is showing here, um, I think uh, that's another way of making meaning about wearing a mask and being more comfortable with it. Uh, finally, the fifth way uh, of thinking about wearing a mask is it's just what we do around here. Uh, the social norm of looking around and say, oh, that's, I guess that's what people do around here. Um, it can be very powerful. So as you are wearing a mask, you can think not only are you protecting people, um, you're protecting yourself, you're protecting, you're really protecting other people from uh, you're possibly spreading it. You might not know if you have uh, COVID. Um, but also it's just a signal. It can be a social signal. Oh, that's just what we do around here. Um, and uh, this can be contagious, just like any number of other signals we send. Uh, I notice this especially on college campuses that uh, people look around and say, oh, what kind of clothes do we wear around here? Um, and you'll notice people wear a lot of uh, of uh, college logos, um, people wear uh, political signs, sometimes wear political messages, um, and looking around and say, oh, okay, this is how we express ourselves, this is what we do around here. Wearing a mask can be a powerful social signal to others that, okay, I'm taking part in this social group and this is one of the things that we do. Okay, thanks for listening to my five ways of thinking about a mask, uh, and I hope that these gave you different ways of uh, thinking about masks that will help them make it more comfortable for you um, in the semester ahead as we are confronting wearing a mask much more often.